So let us see, we will move to the next stage. Then Avinash luckily went and joined a company in Delhi, which is a solar based company. They work on making instruments for companies and schools and you know, to make solar uh, education. So then I said, Avinash used a plastic bottle. Let me go to the best manufacturers in the country to make glass shells. So we went to them and we said, we want a double walled vacuum flask. At that time, we didn't even know that we needed to mention the thicknesses. Thicknesses are very critical in this because if I have more thickness, my you know the heat transmittivity losses are much larger. We got this glass and we conceived this window mounted solar oven. We found out a lot of issues. Then I called up Avinash. Avinash, what is this? You're working in a solar company. Please help us not working. And I worked very hard. It took eight months to manufacture these glass jars, vacuumize them, build all the CAD models to make the prototype. And it's not working. So he came back and then he said, Sir, you have to go to Bombay. I'll go to my hometown, Aurangabad. And I will show you what happens. So he took this uh, glass jar in the bus to Aurangabad and he baked cake in that. And it's working. So now the issue is that we need to understand the various important engineering aspects in this. What are the issues of thermal engineering in this? What are the issues of solar, you know, uh, 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 conduction and convection issues in this? And it is really, really very, very high, uh, you know, uh, technology and understanding which need to go in. So now what all did we learn from this case? We clearly learned that there's a very serious issue about the glass wall thickness absorbing most of the heat in Bombay. Whereas when he went to Aurangabad, the temperatures are so high that he could cook very easily. The black body absorbs the heat efficiently. That was very clear. So if my container inside is reflecting, like if I put a stainless steel container inside, will it cook? It's not rocket science. People say that you have matte black vessels inside. It will absorb all the heat. So it's basic science. More the black surface, more the heat. Maximum heat is transferred through conduction process. Food containers need to be exposed to the sun directly. So these are the insights we got. So we went back again to the conception. First idea. Let us check. Let us make polycarbonate boxes. So this is a two volt polycarbonate box. So we have to always design in the difficult circumstances rather than design for best circumstances. If you design for difficult circumstances, you will get very good design. Avinash put this reflective surface on the door. He made this double walled fish tank design, one in glass because fish tank manufacturers are there. They quickly make gave us in glass and we made one in polycarbonate. We tested both of them. And we have put up a whole setup on the terrace to check to temperatures to measure. We found out that the polycarbonate one was much better because the losses with conduction were less in polycarbonate. And we started using the you know different boxes which came from the box type solar ovens which are in the market. And to our surprise, the different boxes were very thin, made up of aluminium and painted black matte outside. So we copied the design. We took the same boxes and they started working well. We started making dal chawal and then we measured the temperature to a shock. It was 108 degrees. This was a great sort of leap for us. And then from here, you know, we started cooking rice regularly. We said that if you have a product, you need to experience it yourself first. So we started cooking every day in this oven before lunch. And sometimes we would eat kacha chawal when there's no sun. But you know, we, we said we have to feel the pain of anybody using a solar oven, you know, passionately.